that is unique. That's a that. new uh, Audi colour. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and welcome to what is going to be an exciting video ahead. What I've been so excited to do. You may have seen a few months ago I placed a deposit on a brand new Audi RS6 which will be coming next year. After seeing the launch of it, the pictures and everything, and loving the older one, I thought I had no choice. And yes, I put a deposit down and reserved my space for one of the first cars out of West London, Audi. And that is the destination where we're gonna be going today because they have told me, and I've also looked online, that now the German configurator is live, and also Audi.com, the configurator to spec your Audi RS6, is also live. The UK one is actually not. But I said, can I actually spec my car up on those configurators? And they said, yes, you can. If you uh, like a spec, lock it in, and uh, away we go, basically. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And I've looked at so many different specs, and how much it's all gonna cost. The cost is high, but I feel it's just gonna be that flipping good. The modern tech and everything. So we're gonna go down to West London Audi. We're gonna be doing that. Where you join me at the moment is I'm currently in my A35, as you can, well, you can tell, with yellow, etc. I'm actually in a car park in the middle of nowhere, but you can see over here, just what's going on over there, Seb Delaney is over there, because he is potentially buying that Audi, a manual Audi. R8, which is pretty rare indeed. His editor is in there getting the angles, but that is what he's potentially buying. And he's talking to the owner and they're trying to discuss maybe they can strike a deal up. So what we should do is we should go and have a look at uh, that R8 manual. I love R8s, so they're just great. And the manual is a super rare one that uh, you can't really get hold of at the moment. Oh. What are you, what are you looking at? I'm filming this, what you're gonna buy? Well, I don't know. Well, you might do. It's an auction, isn't it's it? It's an so auction. Who knows what's gonna When's the auction up? Or when? Seven days. So you got seven so days we to. We don't have long. Seven days to bid on this car yeah. if you want to buy it. Yeah. So you're doing it a little bit differently. You're actually. You're bidding on a car. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna look at several, but this is an option. I'll put, I'll put a bid in for this. That's something that would be a good deal. If it gets accepted, great. If not. So it would be cool. Look at it. It looks cool, right? Look at that. I actually really like the silver wheels. Usually I don't like them, but. Hmm. I think they look really cool. Get your bid in, lad. You know about our rates, don't you? I do, I had a V10 Plus. A manual though, manual, one of only five in the country. Rare. That is a rare car. So what's your bid? Well, how much would I bid? Yeah. Uh, 72, something around there. Around there, that's your max. Go and spec up an RS6. Yeah, that's really exciting, actually. That is exciting, because you were there when I put a deposit down. Yeah. Everyone thought I was just chatting rubbish, and I wasn't. And today we're actually going to go and I've do I've been trying to convince Archie to split it as well at some point. But yeah. No. We've now arrived here at West London Audi. It seemed like it was only yesterday since I was here placing my deposit. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on inside this amazing facility which we're at, and then get specking. Go into like a little room where you can sort of uh, where it all unfolds. It seems like I was here not long ago. This is such a cool facility. We have an RS3. I think that was here last time I was here, actually, to be honest with you. The uh, RS3, which uh, this is the RS3 Saloon. I had one of those on loan, actually, funny enough, for about three months from Audi UK. So that's uh, one car I've actually spent a lot of time with is the RS3 Saloon because they're cool, aren't they? What do you prefer? The saloon or the sportback? It's actually, I'm in two minds with that one. This is one for you. You're looking for a 4x4. Four four. Looking for a 4x4. Four four. This has been in contention. The, the Q8 has been in contention. Maybe not with those wheels, but it actually has been in contention. There will be I more news. You in one of those. Potentially. Potentially. There will be more news on my daily soon. Here is a S7. That is a big car, that, the S7. Flip it out. Does look good though, personally as well. I'd maybe blacken out the wheels also. The exhaust are fake. It's funny actually on these modern Audis, the exhausts, just fake exhaust on the back of some of these cars. And that is another one which those exhausts are not real at all. When if you look in there, there you can see they're not real. So it's just what's going on these days. But it was this Q8 um, which they have 
just in the corner. This is a Wolfsprung edition and this actually has been in contention for my new daily because a Q8 does look mega, doesn't it? And with the way that they look from the back, I think that that is a really cool daily. And there will be more news, like I say, on my daily situation shortly because I do think it would be good and with the Volsprung edition you get the different sort of wheels on it as well upgraded wheels you get the upgraded seats and everything else I'm just going to give you a little tour to where we are we're just on about the third floor and welcome into the room where you get to spec a car up which is uh, very very cool usually you'd have it all on the tv up there uh, today we're just gonna just do it on a laptop but and then you have all your different colours which you can choose from just down here as well and then over on this side you can see all the different kind of things you could do with the interior you have all of that in here as well and then if you're really going for it look you've got lots of different options is there and then yeah no wood inside i go over here because there are a couple obviously all look all of these are probably not rs6 colours themselves because there are new colours which are out but it is a uh, it's a very cool place to be in. Okay, first of all, let me introduce Rob. Oh, yeah. This is the main Audi Sport Manager. Yeah. Which is here. He's uh, had to deal with me coming in and placing deposits and whatnot. People thought I wasn't going to place a deposit, you know that. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. So, we're going to talk through how it is uh, specking a car, the process of it, how it all works, because it is... Uh, it's the most fun part you're doing when you're ordering a brand spanking new car and with the RS6. Uh, this is still early days, we're using the German configurator, so the spec which we're going to use uh, will go straight onto the UK configurator and then after that it goes to build from there, right? Yep, absolutely. So you think slots will go to build what, in November? Should open up, we should be able to configure the UK specification properly in November. November. Um, and uh, yeah, get the order with the factory and uh, uh, keep you updated on progress from that point on. We like that. And when are we thinking deliveries? Uh, I think we've got to be looking at sort of uh, February, March, uh, February, if we're March. being realistic. Yeah. Uh, for the first few cars, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So there are a lot. Obviously, base price, as you can see on the right hand of your screen, is seventeen and a half thousand euros. 117. No. 117. <laughs> yeah, not 17. Imagine. Um, and that is just a classic Nardo grey, which is a free option. There are, if we scroll down, you can see there 2,900. You can get an individual paint, but we can't click on them yet because they're not allowing you to see what they are. Or you can, but you can't really see it. You on won't the see the image now. You won't no. see it on the image. Um, so there is a very nice colour which is new, and this is here, which is Navara Blue Metallic. Now, hang on, that's not the new one. The new one is down here. Yeah. Crystal Sebring Black. Sebring Black Crystal Effects. And as yep. you can see just down there, 1600 euros that costs. And that, oh, there you go. So it's like a bluey black type color. Yeah, yeah, possibly a bit of purple in there by the looks of it. And Crystal Effect means that there'll be some little silvery uh, specks in the paintwork uh, as you look closely to it. That is cool. Very cool. And what I'm thinking more stealth on this one. Mm -hmm. I know you had a spec when we turned up and it was Nardo Grey, but I think s stealth for me could be something special. Something a little bit different. It's not different, but that, that could be a very cool colour. And if we scroll down, this is when things get a little bit more interesting because you can spec the ribs. Absolutely. At the moment they come on what you can see, they come on a base 21 inch rim wheel, uh, but the 22s which are down here are 2,000 euro option, yeah. but I think they're key. And yeah, that is them. They, they dramatically. And we scroll back up, and then that changes the whole aesthetic yeah, dynamic yeah. of the car straight yeah. away. Oh, it's a good looking car. So that's that. So that's the exterior on kind of what we're messing around with. If we, other colours which you can look at, which you can see here, you could do glacier white. Yeah, probably not for me. For you, no? No. No, no but, but nice. you could do. It's a lovely colour. Yeah, it's a lovely colour. Or you could do foil silver metallic. Yeah, that's quite cool. Quite cool, but probably not going to be. Not too many. That, I mean, it would certainly be more unusual. That's a free option, right? Uh, no, they're still charging for it. They're still uh, charging a grand. Color, which I'm going to stick on here, I think, because it's different, is the Sebring black crystal effect. Because I think for me that could be quite cool. Um, so we can do that, and then you can scroll down and do the rims. Um, LED headlights, what is the key? Do, we, do you need matrix LED headlights? 
Um, it's um, well, and, and laser light as well. So that I mean, it's that's just adding the best technology that Audi has uh, available. So I think it will be a um, uh, a popular option. Two and a half thousand euro option. Yeah. So then you've got the best uh, there, and then you can change stuff. So we've got that the headlights. And then you can do different things like a lot of this is standard, right? Yeah. Which is in here, so yeah. uh, that's not that important. Panoramic roof, you need that. A, it's going to be a hugely popular option. Again, eighteen hundred euros for a panoramic roof. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's much not... in line with the the UK price on all of our. Yeah, models. yeah, yeah. Privacy glass. So yeah. this is going to change the render. Wait till you see the render, but w is that going to be standard? I'd be amazed if it isn't in the UK. And as we can see here, you can see what it looks like with privacy glass and with everything else on it at the moment. I mean, that's a sick, look at the light. That is awesome. Mm. And undoubtedly it will show all sorts of and, patterns when you And we're not there yet, and I'm still looking at the price, and it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's 126 grand already. Um, there are other things you could do with the interior um, as well, and there are things in here which I think are important. I, it comes standard with the S seats. Yeah. Uh, seat covers, not necessarily important. Lever upholstery, again, not really important. But there are so many things you could do isn't exactly. there, with the yeah. interior. And I mean, there's some exclusive options again. So. Sound system is important. Inside and out, because I was going to suggest there's a, a sports exhaust option. Bang & Olsen. Bang & Olsen is 6,000 euros! Oh, no, that's the, yeah, that's the one, the, the advanced one, yes. Yeah, that's the one that literally... <laughs> I mean... Has, has tweeters coming up out of the dash and all sorts. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think... That's a thousand, about a thousand watts, I think, that one. Well, I mean... Yeah. I mean, you're not, yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, yeah, most people will go to the premium sound. The premium sound, sound yeah. which is 770 euros. Yeah. It even has night vision assistance, which is cool. So let's say you're going down the street at night, it will pick up people yeah. which are walking down the street at night. And Is that standard or is that an option? Well, that's a two grand option. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about the sports exhaust system. Because something like this, you can change exhaust and get stuff out of it, but the exhaust system is 1,400 from factory. Do you know the difference? Is it gonna be much difference? Probably not loads of differences there. But yeah, you're, are you, you're you, gonna tick it to have a sports exhaust system on you. you, you are, good for resale. You get, yeah, exactly, you know. Yeah, uh, an and, I will want, and I will sell it after the first week yeah. as well. <laughs> Here we go. This is an option which is important. Audi rings and lettering in shiny black. And that means that the badges on the back I'm pretty sure are then blacked out. Oh, and the front, look at the front grill now. Now they're going. <laughs> how much is it? How much was that? That was 300 euros. And now look at the. Black Audi. Okay. Now it's got black Audi badges. And then that. Okay, look at this as well. You see, this is all changed colour. So now the back of it is all changed colour. And uh, go and have a look at you. Oh. Yeah. So you can see. You can see exactly what's going on here. Wow. And then if we turn the screen like that, you'll be... Yeah. That's the that's spec I think I'll go for. Fantastic. That was easy. I think... Yeah, well, <laughs> we don't want to go all on for all day long, but I think the crystal... The, yeah, crystal paint. Uh, crystal, sea green. Sea green. The special paint. Black, yeah. Which is still black, but got a crystal effect in it as well. Bit of yeah. bluey black, but... Just very, very different on the road. Sixteen hundred euros. Yes, it's sixteen. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's six hundred more than a normal metallic. So yeah, that's you know, on not a bad. Thousand pound car. That's you know, in the overall scheme of things. Other than going exclusive. Yeah. Again and again, going exclusive in the overall cost of the car isn't that much to have something completely unique. But that that is unique. That's a new uh, Audi colour. Yeah, we missed that a couple of bits. There's, there. a, there's stuff we've not actually put right. in there. So but if we right. round it up, it's probably going to be 130, 125 grand all in. Yeah. I mean, Ceramic brakes, how much are they? Well, there's these packages here. Um, there we go. Where you can also de restrict the car because of its. Um, yeah, you can. So, so if you click the info, you'll see what you're getting. So on dynamic these. package. Dynamic package plus. Dynamic pack plus is ceramic brake system. And it takes a speed limiter, and the maximum speed is 305 kilometers an hour. 
How fast is that? That's uh, just under 200. Oh, okay, that's that's quick. That takes it to. So that would be everything all in, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's pretty well loaded now, yeah. So that's a well loaded car. Do you want to see the price? Mm, not really. A fully loaded car with everything on it is 141,000 euros. So after specking it up, which was so cool to see, it's so cool to see uh, my spec on the computer and stuff, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get it on like a big screen just here at Audi so you guys can see it and uh, what is kind of on display before I leave. They kind of show you fully what the spec is and what's going on with that. So it's just such a buzz just to see it and that spec. There, there might be a few changes in terms of interior, but I think the crystal black, I think is the key. I think that's the color. It's different. It's a new color and it's gonna be very, very different. I'm buzzing. It's gonna roughly be a March, I think. It could even be an April delivery, uh, but I am gonna be getting one of the first cars out of West London Audi. So fingers crossed, all goes to plan in February, March. So here you can see, we have my spec on the screen here, right there. So how good does that look with the crystal black? You can't see it as well, but that is the crystal sort of uh, black kind of effect with the sports exhaust just back there. So you can see that as well. Um, I'd probably keep these wheels just as they are now in that color, but that pretty much is spec. Can we go another slide along? We can see that's it from the sort of side angle, as you can see right there. Then we go another angle. Right there, that's it from the front, and you can see with the sort of uh, blacked out part which we've done, uh, that looks good, and with the uh, matrix LED headlights, just there, and look at the grill. The fact that now that comes standard like that, I think is so cool, uh, and that's just so different. And then, look how insane that looks from the back. I mean, that just, on the road, is gonna have serious uh, presence as well. Is there another angle which we've missed? I don't know if there is. There you go, you can see, look at the matrix LED headlights just there, so that, being played on the screen here is, uh, that is a cool sight to see. And that is going to be the spec. Yep. Congratulations, sir. New car on the way. Very good. So there we go. I'm now departing West London Audi and my spec, that is it. What you've just seen is going to be the spec for my new Audi RS6. Like I say, there might be a few little changes that we'll make, but the exterior color, things like that are gonna stay the same. It was such an amazing experience. The first time I personally have ever gone and spec'd a car that's, that I've got coming, which is really exciting and it's a real buzz. It really is. And the whole experience that you have and they look after you and it's, it's just really cool. And I never expected that I would ever be in this situation myself. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I've tried to sort of bring you backstage the best as I can because um, you're just trying to take it all in all the time. So the new RS6, we're thinking February, March time. It could be April, but I'll keep you updated on progress of it. Just probably not sleep tonight about this one because I've just got that color and everything stuck in my head, but I hope you've liked it. Leave your comments down below to what you think to the spec and everything else and how excited you are, just as well as I am. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, guys, and see you all very soon.